Now let's add some props to our model. The examples that I have for you are this wrist armor, shoulder armor, pants, and um, the club. In this video, I'm going to show you a method for creating props and even clothing based on the existing geometry that you've already rigged. So let's hide the other props. And this object I'm actually going to delete and we're going to start from scratch. You can support CG Dive by purchasing this course or some of the exclusive courses on academy.cgdive.com. Let's select this ogre object. Go to edit mode. And let's select a couple of edge loops at the wrist. Something like that. I'll press Shift D to duplicate them and P to separate the selection. Because this geometry was separated from our rigged mesh, it already has all the modifiers and vertex groups, so it will move with the character. So here I could just add a solidify modifier. If I play with this offset value, by default it's, it's uh, set to minus one. If I increase it a little bit, this will make the object cut a little bit into the character mesh. And that tends to make this a new geometry feel more integrated into the original character, in my opinion. Now if I unhide the generated trick and let's set the arm action and play it, this new geometry just conforms perfectly to my already rigged mesh. And that's great. Uh, that's a great uh, way to add props and clothing to your character. And you're not limited to this geometry that uh, you just extracted. Let's go to frame 20 where the arm is kind of straight. Select this new geometry, go to edit mode. I'll disable the solidify modifier for a second and then the scale gizmo stays at the original unrigged position of this edge loop, which kind of confuses me, but let's try to scale this part in the x-axis, which did work, and on the other side as well. And now if I go to object mode, this new geometry will still behave well. Um, and I can do all, all sorts of uh, editing to this. For example, I'll select some polygons and delete them. I can make a cut like that. And again, I'm going to get rid of this geometry. And this new part will still behave perfectly. I can model something in here. The modeling can feel a little bit weird because we are modeling with the armature modifier on. 
and that is making it a little bit harder to work with. But then I can turn on the uh, armature again and despite all of the editing of this mesh, it still perfectly conforms to the arm. So I think that was a cool little trick. I hope you liked it, but I think Many of you are wondering what if I already have an existing piece of clothing as a separate mesh that I want to integrate into my rig. So in the next part, I'm going to try to address that. That's it for this chapter. Please like, subscribe and check out our other projects. Academy.cgdive.com and addons.cgdive.com